So here we are out here stripping some flax stubble, and um, this flax uh, got some hail on it just like the peas did down here, and it's running in that 10 bushel an acre mark. So flax seems to be one of those crops that I would have guessed this to be 20 bushels or better. It kind of the hail dinged it up, but um, if it doesn't have moisture at the end, it seems like just like canola or something, it doesn't finish quite as well. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of the stand that we have here for flax. This is a really awesome crop because it's a really mycorrhizal supporting crop. And um, there was mushrooms growing out here in this field. I think we held the organic matter up pretty well. And this bottom that we're in is probably more like 15 bushel flax or so. But um, regardless, the stripping this flax stubble is by far the ticket because a lot of this stubble is still green. If you tried to cut green flax stubble with a draper header, you would gum up all sorts of things in your combine and probably wouldn't even cut it off. Usually you have to wait till it freezes. So we're out here cutting this stuff right now. Um, it's, the seed itself is only about 6% moisture, but there's a lot of green stalks that are left out here. So the stripper header, if you're gonna grow a lot of flax, I think is really the ticket. So here is this flax after it's been stripped. You can kind of see, get you out of my shadow here, but you can see here, there's little bits of bowls left on there, but it basically took all the seeds and just stripped them off the top of this plant. And this is what a flax plant would look like prior to being stripped here. So we can see all the pods. This is a pretty good bottom, so this potted out pretty well. The stuff that's up on the hillsides where it was a little droughtier didn't do quite as well. But as far as the efficiency of this thing, we we're able to cut this at six and a half, seven miles an hour, um, and still have some green stalks and plow right through it here with the stripper header. The one thing with the stripper header is the settings end of the combine's a little bit confusing. And so the bottom sieves we have closed all the way up to three. The top sieves now are set at eight, I think, and our fans running somewhere around like that 650 ballpark. And then the rotor normally for flax would be running more like 900 RPMs. Um, our rotor now, I think, last time I checked with Wendy in the combine there anyways, the rotor was turned down to like eight something. So slower rotor speed, slow the veins way down if you can. We're lucky in this new combine, we can just adjust the veins on the go. So we got those slowed way down and um, a little lower fan speed because we're not running a lot of material through here. And then in the sample part, which I'll show you in the truck, we want that to be a little bit dirty. If it's not, it probably means you're throwing some flax out with the rest of the stuff. So all we want to do is make sure that we get the bowls thrashed we get a little bit of straw in with the sample, it's not the end of the world.